Hey man, that OMBP is to check me out on the Bootleg Kid podcast. All right, man, look, Bootleg Kev Podcast, Bootleg Kev Show, special guest, my guy, OMB Peasy. Gang. What's up, man? man? I'm feeling good. I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling lovely. It's good to right see you, there. bro. It's good to see you, too, man. Yeah, man. I think the last time I saw you was in January in uh, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, was, I think you were putting the finishing touches on your album. Mm, I was just finishing two deep tears up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we did that freestyle that went crazy. No, my mama, that soul tie freestyle mm-hmm. went crazy, bro. That soul tie freestyle went all the way down. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I mean, shit. How is everything, man? Cause shit, I, I was, I, I, man, I'm, I'm just glad to see you, you free and walk yeah. and uh, moving around. Like, Everything cool, you know. This is smile, smile, shit to a giant. You feel me? Like ain't nothing I can't handle for real. Mm-hmm. For real. I feel like God be putting tests on, tests on my faith. You feel me? Just gotta keep my faith. Let me ask you something. Is it? Is it? I I uh I too have been in a position where there are you you kind of there's like a lot of unknown happening yeah as far as um legal stuff yeah. like you don't know what's gonna f- officially get charged like you know what I mean? you got you got to kind of I've been in that position and that's very very stressful place to be in that's just stressful for what I try not to think about it because if you think about it it could really fuck with you yeah, man yeah it's gonna be like damn like you know what I'm saying like they. Because you don't know what's gonna happen, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, shit, I could be free for the next couple of years, and then yeah, and then, then all of a sudden, the shit all hits. All of a sudden, they're like, "Oh, nigga, gotta walk in that bitch, do some time." So yeah. Like, yeah. When I was going through something similar, uh, it, it was um, if I like, it was almost hard to like initially get to live in like normal life again, because it's almost like you feel like you got this thing just. Over your head, yeah, and it's yeah. you know what I mean. Like, yeah. how, how, have you gotten past that that part, or like, is it still something like when you start thinking about it, it kind of get, get fucks with you a little bit? Shit, it like I don't wanna say it like that, but I've been going gym and shit, so I ain't even really tripping off that part. It's just like being away from like my career and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I really be thinking about, like deep and shit, like being away from my little boy and shit. Like, of that. course, yeah. the family. Yeah. Are you um running up? The music right now, just in case that does happen, to where you have a a catalog you could release. Hey, while yeah, I've been recording a lot. I've been recording a whole lot of shit. How many songs do you think you're sitting on right now? A lot. I think I got a lot of shit. I got a whole lot. Of shit. I can't even put no number on this shit. What? What? Um. Because I, I always think back to like you know, uh, when we talk about the greats and like just their process of recording, we always think like I heard uh, Greedo's got like. I think TK said he's got like 3,000 songs. Something crazy like that. Like, if I find the songs, I lost the shit. Like, oh, you lost some songs? Yeah, I lost a lot of shit. I had a whole computer with hell songs. Just like, gone? I lost that motherfucker. Uh, then like phones and shit, like the police on my left phone, I lost a whole lot of songs. We got to get you some hard drives. Oh, God, I know. <laughs> That's what it is. I be losing hard drives and shit. Lost hard drives. You, we got to get you the cloud. <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'm saying? That way it can't get lost. You just got to know the password. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Um, how 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 you feeling about the album? The album came out. I think it's a, a solid body of work. I feel like it was highly anticipated. I feel like people have been waiting to 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 get this project from you. How you how do you feel? I mean, a, a couple months removed from the project coming out. How are you feeling about it? I always feel like I could do a little better. You feel me? But. I feel like you got. I, I feel like I got good for you, baby. For the most part, you right. Know? When you say could have did better, what do you what do you what do you mean? Like what I do just feel think? like I ain't where I'm at. Like I feel like I feel like my core fan base should be bigger. You feel me? Like you know what I'm saying. I, I mean, you do like have a pretty where... crazy core fan base, though. Like yeah. I feel like you got some pretty diehard fans that go hard for, for you. For sure, man. that for sure. That. I ain't gonna lie. It's a whole lot of fans that go hard for a nigga, but I'm trying to get them. I need they ad to make other people feel how they feel about me, if that makes sense. Boom. You expand the base. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get this shit right for what real. Are you, what are the, I mean, because I think that um, you're, it's crazy because, like, I'll see, I always tell people, like, I think you're, like, out of, like, your generation of artists, like, you're one of the best, like, especially, like, when it comes to, like, rapping and shit. Yeah. What is it that you think that's that's not, like, connecting all the way? I I feel like low key is because you don't really be fucking with everybody. 
Well, no, I, I also feel, feel like, like you don't be do. on no goofy shit on the internet. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't, too. you know what I mean? Like, I got to get comfortable to, to be like on some goofy play with shit. I got to get all the way comfortable and shit. Or oh, I just got to, like, I don't know, bro, I'm about pole. I got to be having a good day or some shit. Mm. You feel me? Like, I got to wake up on that side of the bed, you feel me? Or be real, real comfortable to get on some goofy shit. I can't just wake up and be like, all right, I'm a rapper, so I got to do some goofy shit on Instagram. Right, right, right. right. Like, I think well, you I'm got a, I think you got a dope personality. I think you got to figure out a way to like uh, translate that somehow. That's why we did the cooking shit. You yeah. feel me? No, that All was right. dope. I ain't have to do nothing. But get high, just get in front of the stove and just talk. You feel me? Like that was the easiest shit to do. I was just being myself. You feel me? Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like I need to do more shit like that. Um, I know you you recently made a move from the West Coast to Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Um, because you was living up in the Bay, right? Yeah. We, um. How how has that been? I mean, you're saving a lot of money on rent. I feel, yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like moving to Atlanta was the second best move I made in my life. I feel like the move to the Bay was the best move, and then the move to Atlanta was the second best. Because I feel like, not like that, I feel like the Bay gonna always fuck with me. I'm gonna always fuck with the Bay. I just feel like, I did everything I was gonna do out there. Like, well, you, that's like the Bay's kind of what, what heated you up. Yeah, they gonna always fuck with me. I'm always had a little of them, you feel me? Sacramento, you feel me? That whole little, that whole side. Yeah, the, I, feel I, feel like, like, I feel like the Bay is like a, you know, it's a unique place to break out of, especially considering like you're from the South. And yeah, exactly. People probably, even though when they hear you, you, I mean, I would say, yeah, this kid's from the South. But mm. I feel like people associate you with the Bay so much. A yeah. lot of people probably think you're from there. I don't even really be tripping though. I don't really be tripping. Because I used to stay out there, you feel me? So it like... I don't really be tripping for him. What uh, what what what, what happened with um, cause cause E forty kind of brought you into the game, and and I know you know shout out to our our boy Ken who's still you know with you. you feel um, me. what uh, what happened where you're no longer with sick with it? Like I'm trying to like, I'm trying to branch out, man. I'm really trying to be like mogul status. You feel me? You know, you're trying to get on some E forty shit. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> no, I'm saying so. I feel like, and I feel like he won't. That what he wanted me to do. You feel me? Like I feel like. You know what I'm saying? We all trying to be bosses at the end of the day, you feel me? You know, it's our respect and shit, you feel me? It's our love, but at the end of the day, they're business, you feel me? What, um, what did you learn from 40? I learned a whole lot from 40, you feel me? I was just talking about some shit I learned from 40 last night, you feel me? Like, some shit that just came in my mind out of the blue, you feel me? Like, but he really taught a nigga, like, longevity is really the most important thing in the game, like you feel me, longevity, you feel me, because it be so many waves that be like coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. You feel me? Once you find you and you can have a packet in any wave, you feel me, you good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that like you would rather kind of have a 20 year career th- yeah. that's like consistent, you feel me, than like a crazy two years. You feel what I'm saying? And then you're just like, who? Do, what happened to this fucking guy? Because if it's consistent, you gonna learn how to you gonna learn how to manage the money and everything, like. Them whole 20 years You feel me Yeah like you and then you'll strong. always Have your catalog You'll be able to do exactly, Your shows You'll be able exactly, to Exactly exactly Get into different ventures Scrum two years You might have a, uh, You might be cool For three years After that Scrum two years And then it's over Well I was just having A conversation Um, One of my favorite artists At the I mean dude I fucking loved Rich Homie Quan. I mean oh, I yeah, still I think Rich Homie Kwan. Kwan Is incredible Hey, hey we used to be out there Rich Homie hard Back in the day Oh you my see? god Yo when he first came out Okay. And then he did the shit with Thug on top of it, but his first shit, like the first, like bro, I was living in Tampa at the time, and he he had the South on fucking. Oh god, oh god. I know he has some record label issues, but again, he had like two or three years, and like you know, uh, he hit that wall with his label, and and it's like you just never know when it's when it's gonna you, yeah, how how long you have at that you know height. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Real and time. and he's one song away from being back at the top. You know, everyone. I always feel like everybody is one record away. Yeah, yeah. At exactly all times. Though. At all times. At especially, all times. Especially these days, film not we got TikTok and shit. Like yeah, that. yeah. You never. I mean, it could be a fucking. Your shit could be blowing up. You don't even know. It could be a five year old song that oh, all God. of a sudden goes crazy oh, on TikTok. God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it is it for you? Is it like somebody who's kind of known for being real and like I feel like a lot of people love uh, how. R- r- your music relates to their real life. I feel like you know I, when I when I think of OMB PZ, I think of pain. I think mm-hmm. of how you know you speak on real life situations that that are very relatable to to people. But in, in today's environment in music, you almost like almost looking to try to catch one of them TikToks or something like this. Yeah, but shit, I don't really be tripping like me. 
like all my life people gravitated towards me like just naturally, you feel me? So like even back in school, like before I rapping, like people just like they just take to me for some reason, you feel me? So I don't really just be trying like to I just be going through shit. I feel like I take the sacrifice to go through shit so I can rap about it, you feel me? So I go through shit and I rap about it, you feel me? Like it really be easy on good. So I I don't, I don't I really don't try to like focus on man I gotta get a song like that they can fuck with on TikTok or I gotta get you a song. You just do you and if it yeah, happens like, to come, it happens it to come. Happen, like shit, I ain't tripping. Like I know I'm made for this shit. Like I really can't see myself doing nothing else. You feel me? I mean that's fair. But being rich, I rap. You feel me? I'm saying so. Yeah, uh, you know your recording process. I've seen you in the studio. Like, how, like how how would you describe how you write? Like, do you write in your phone or is it strictly like you know? I think nowadays a lot of time we'll see people get in the studio and like they'll just have an idea and they're just going they'll do the punch in thing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. punch in line by the line. Do you do the punching thing? Yeah, I punch in like four balls. Like I punch in like four. Then you'll balls. think of another four and punch them in. Yeah, just work through the, the verse. Depending on how to beat it, like you feel me. The beat so you don't write song. nothing. No, I don't really write nothing. I I freestyle my whole last album. I think I wrote uh, "Tears, Youngest Baby." You feel me? But wow. Else was freestyle. Even uh, so, so. the okay. whole last album was just off the top. I'm good again. That whole two D for Tear freestyle. Self with like one song. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that uh, there's certain, like, cause, you know, when it comes to, like, the shit you go through, you think some stuff you should write down? Like, man. Or is there, like, yeah, a... I'll be, I be, like, all right, if I have a raw, I have a raw head thought throughout the day randomly, you feel me? You know how that shit be, yeah. you feel me? I'll put it in my notes or some shit, you feel me? Because I know I'm forgetting. you be like, yo, I got to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. like, I, oh, yeah, that, like, it's raw head. I know a lot of people went through this shit, you feel right. me? Like, some shit like that, i put it in my notes. Um, you were how long has it been since you were shot? And, and, and was that two years ago? Two and a half years ago? It was a while ago. Like I said, about two years, right? Twenty nineteen. I don't know. I don't, I don't be counting. I don't even. Know. How did? How did? How did? Two years. How did? Um, because that was that was at your own video shoot. Nope, that was at a show. Oh, it was at a show. Okay. Okay. but it was in your hometown, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 How did that change? Um, you know, getting shot, man, again. That's that's something that's a life changing situation where at least yeah, at the yeah, very yeah. least it makes you really reconsider. I I would think it would make you rethink everything. Like how how did how did getting shot change you, man? I mean, shit, it just got them. It just showed me like shit. I could die. You feel me? Like you know, cause I was living like shit. I don't know. It just showed me like I can die. You feel me? I could die too. You feel me? No, oh, mom. Like, it took me out there young, like, cause coming up, like, when I was, like, 17, 16, shot, like, shit. I really want to care about dying or, like, think about dying, like, I'd be thinking about death, but I wouldn't be, like, oh, shit. Like, like I ain't think, like, you know how death hit close to home, you'd be like, damn, that shit was so close, then it could have been me, you feel me? Could have so been me. when that man. shit, like, I'm like, damn, I could have died right there. That shit was so close to a nigga, I could have done that. You know what I'm saying? So it just changed, it was like, shit, I got to step a whole lot of shit up. I got to start getting my hair done, you feel me, start dressing right and shit like that. Yeah. Do you feel, because um, I always, I, I, I'm a big believer that, like, you kind of, the energy that you bring into man, this yeah, world yeah. is the energy you're going to get back. Man, fuck yeah, man. Hell yeah, everything I put into it, I got back, man, good and bad. Good and bad. Because, you know, I think that, um, you're man, I think you're super talented, bro, and I think that you're, like, you know, I think you could have, like, we were talking about consistency, right? Mm-hmm. I think you could have 20 years in this thing. That's what I want, bro. So good, man. I, I feel d- like I can have two, though. You can have 30. You know what I mean? I mean, shit, with this, with this music shit, you could be you could be here at 55 dropping. Yeah, Shout out to Hove. Good. You know what I mean? I just, I just, you know, I think that, like, you're somebody who's got so much potential, and I would just hate to see, like, you know, I, I feel like you, you you get wrapped up in certain shit, or you you kind of keep certain energy around you at all times. Like eventually, that you know, th- th- everything's gonna cross. Yeah, real talk though. You know yeah, what I'm real, saying? Man, I know a few niggas who just got a cloud over their head. Fam. Do you have you ever felt that way? Like man, yeah, it's just yeah. some shit. Like man, shit can never. Because I, you know, I've I've been in that situation mentally where I felt like. Shit can never go too good without some fucked up shit happening. Yeah, yeah I be feeling like that all the time. I be thinking about this shit, everything. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be tripping on it. Do you think you go into Atlanta and just kind of getting away? I mean, because, you know, I think that, uh, you know, I, I was just talking to Young Blue uh, a few months ago, and, and he lives in Mississippi. And he's uh-huh. he's like, man, I had to get the fuck out of home because, yeah. you know, uh, I'm away from everything. You know what I mean? Do you think, like, 
like kind of picking and choosing when to go back home helps because I feel like you probably have more haters from from home than anywhere else. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta understand though. I was moving around a lot as a young, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So. You know what I'm saying? I don't really just be looking at it too much. Like, should I get the most hate at home? No more. You feel me? Be the same shit. Like, wherever you're at. Go, like, you feel me? Be, you got the niggas over there that's hating. And then you got the niggas over here who gonna love you. You feel me? Like, it be like that everywhere. It be like that Kelly, motherfucking Alabama, Atlanta, or whatever fuck nigga. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. And I get a whole lot of love on my side. Well, on my side, I don't go nowhere but my side anyway. Shit. Right, 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 yeah. right. Hey, interrupting the interview to tell you about our good friends at Odd Socks. Now, as you can see, I always have my odd socks on, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shout out to my bony ass knees. Um, listen, go to oddsocksofficial.com. They got all the craziest socks. These are the outsiders. You know what I'm saying? They got SpongeBob. They got Cheech and Chong. Listen, Breaking Bad, Godfather, whatever you need, they got it. And now they have underwear. That's right. You can get your odd socks underwear. The boxer briefs are the best underwear that you could ever fit on your ass. Trust me when I tell you. These are Chucky draws. What you know about top ramen underwear, all right? Go to oddsocksofficial.com, use the keyword bootleg Kev at checkout, and you'll save 20% off of, of your order. Underwear, masks, slippers, socks, whatever you need, they got it. Oddsocksofficial.com, keyword bootleg Kev at checkout, save 20%. How do you feel about, I mean, Alabama's having a a cool wave in music? I feel like. I feel good about this shit for real, because, like, we've been waiting for a window for so many years, you feel me? Like, we we didn't had a whole we didn't had a real gap before we even got an artist. You feel me? Like for a long ass time since like Rich Boy. You feel me? And, uh, Yellow, Yellow Wolf, Wolf and shit like that. It was really feel? Rich Boy and Yellow Wolf and Young Dobie girl. and Dobie for Rest the in longest. Peace. You feel me? For the longest. You feel me? Now we just coming back to back. You feel me? Like I ain't gonna lie. Who who your fa who are some of your favorite artists out of out of the city, man? I'm fucking with uh Moose. Uh, Honeycomb. Oh, you talking about out of my city? Yeah, oh, out of, just out of, out of the state of oh, Alabama. Shit. Muska, Honeycomb, shit. Uh, MGM lit. Rallo. I'm fucking with everybody. I'm fucking with everybody. Yeah, it's a wave, man. Yeah, I'm fucking with everybody. The, wait, is Muski the track star guy? Yeah. I didn't know he's from there. Yeah, he's from Alabama. Yeah, no fucking idea. That's what I'm saying. We come, I'm talking about we come from here. Yeah, I ain't going there. Real talk, we got Young Blue. Yo, Blue's moving. Oh, good, boy. And he's, have you ever met him? Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's a, a smart kid. Yeah. Like, I feel like he's like a, got his head on his shoulder. Yeah, he give you that aura like, he ain't just no lucky. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. he knows something. He knows something, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and when I was talking to him, I'm like, yo, you're different, man. This guy's got restaurants. And, yeah, and, real talk. He's young nigga, too. Lives in Biloxi, don't got to pay state tax because he's in Mississippi, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, he's exactly. chilling. How, how did you... uh? Get like you know the pandemic's a while. First of all, you was in Atlanta, so it really didn't matter. Yeah, because that shit was wide. Yeah. The it fuck ain't no corona. Thing. It ain't no corona in Atlanta. But I mean, obviously, I'm sure certain bags like when like you probably would have did more shows. Just, you know, like boom. All right, so you know my uh my fan base strong on the West Coast. You feel right. me? Right, so yeah. When, people love you yeah, on the West Coast. When the pandemic first hit, the West Coast shut down, so I really just had to go harder with like the I, I had to go harder with the, with the Southern market. I really had to study, like study the shit I've been driving and mm. you know what I'm saying, critique it a little bit and like grow, go harder with like the the Southern market. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So it kind of made you uh, elevate your like try to elevate your fan base a little exactly. bit. Like, yo, let me get into these other it really helped. pockets. So it helped. Yeah, it really helped because them shows started coming in and chin and sucking and shit like that. What are uh, some of your like hobbies you think? Like, you know, what are, the, what are the things you do in your free time outside of recording and, you know, doing the music shit? What are you doing like at home? Like, are you playing video games? What do you get into, man? I don't know. My, I don't know. I ain't got no habits to shit, man. I be thinking about other shit. I be tripping. I be tripping. No hobbies? Be, no How the hobbies. fuck you got no hobbies? I be trying to play the game and shit, but that shit. Okay, so it. fuck games. What else? You like? You don't have any hobbies? You watch TV? You fucking. When I see, I don't like watching. Let's TV. say you're at home, right? What are you doing at the crib? If I got too much time in my hand, I'm finna be thinking about some bullshit. You feel me? So I try to stay busy. You feel me? King gonna call my phone like we got the interview. You feel me? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, listen, you got to figure out something to do besides bullshit when you got time on your ass. Yeah, I'd imagine. Ken, we got to get him on Twitch. Oh, yeah, on God, though. I just I just bought the computer and shit, though. On oh, Jesus, though, real talk. Let's get this motherfucker yeah, that's on Twitch. That's something I just thought, though. You feel me? Like, this is a problem that we've been trying to handle. You feel me? Nah, I mean, I'm not, but this fucking guy is. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, we, this we, a, we'll give you a Twitch course. Our, our yeah, team is pretty yeah, heavily exactly, diving into Twitch. Exactly. It's a problem we've been trying to handle. You though. see, T yeah. Grizzly's going crazy on Twitch. Oh, good, though. Yeah. And all he's doing is playing, bro. He's making probably more, like respectfully to T Grizzly, but I'm pretty sure he's making more money on Twitch than music right now. Real talk. Yeah, and I think if you just kind of let loose, be yourself, go yeah, on Twitch. that shit gonna be raw. Because I really don't know how to play the games, but that shit gonna be fun. Just like just I go in there, talk quick, shit, play games. Exactly. Snoop Dogg's on there, and Snoop can't play no fucking games. That fool be rage quitting and throwing his controller and shit. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It's, oh, I don't know, man. Um, W- 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 like Obviously waiting to see What happens with your case and shit But Music wise Albums out You know you're recording a bunch What is next for you right now I'm just trying to drop more music For real Like I'm trying to stay in their face You know what I'm saying Cause I don't want everybody to, Like I don't want the new people To know me I don't want the new people Who found out about me Cause of that situation To know me for that situation I want mm-hmm. them to know, them for the mu- know me for the music Just like my other fans and shit, right, right 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 So I'm just trying to drop more music You feel me like Saying. You think it was like a gift and a curse where like people like like see your name in those headlines and then they go they they look you up on like Spotify check your shit out like have you noticed that at all or was it more like how do you think? I don't really know shit. I don't, like did, I like know. did you notice like more followers or more like streams like when yeah when the followers and shit yeah hey, yeah followers and shit man but they be coming bullshit they gonna get a nigga locked up shit like mm. so I don't know, be on that shit man. I don't know. I could do it. I did shit right there. How do you, uh, you know, you're for people who don't know, you're uh, you're on three hundred, which yeah, is uh, um, they got Megan and YSL and you know those. Yeah, yeah we got Rasta over that motherfucker. What'd you say? Oh yeah, oh, you're yeah, a partner. Yeah, yeah, you're a partner. partner with yeah, I was gonna ask you, like, like, do you feel like? How do you feel about being on 300? Do you, cause I, I feel good about being on 300. I ain't going to lie. See, I fuck with 300 like on some. See, from the first day I walked in the door over there at 300, all right, so boom, they flew me out. Because there was like a bidding war for yeah, you. Yeah, they flew me out to New York, and I was taking labor deal. I mean, I was taking labor meetings with other labels. Yeah, and yeah, shit, I remember. So I kept that in my head. I remember like, talking to RJ, like, yo, well, everyone's trying to sign yeah, this it was like, right now. It was like, goddamn, I kept that in my head, like, okay. They got to be, like, they down to know they better than these people in some aspect because they pay for my flights and shit. And still, like, when one tripping, like, I'm talking if about you all four. somewhere else, yeah. They, like, all for it if you, if you go to the other level. Right, right, right. Feel me? Then when I went to 300 office, it was just a different vibe. You feel me? Like, I got the family vibe. You feel me? I'm feet kicked up and that motherfucker smoking. You feel me? Then the business side they were talking was right. You feel me? So. So right, so when you say you're a partner, what does that mean? Compared I got to, a, I got a distribution deal through Overkill through my record label with uh, 300. You feel me? So essentially, 300. You yeah. do, they 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 step in when they need to, and they're do, type shit. It's yeah. like a distro situation. Yeah, distro. You feel me? Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So so you're kind of like quasi independent, and when you need some major shit to happen, you could tap in. You feel me? Fuck on my nigga, man. Fuck on my people now. I mean, really, that's great. That's really what all you need, right? I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's the best situation a nigga could be in for real. And then once you, if you catch one, then they could bring it over and put all the. Yeah, it's blackling. That's dude. when that upstream situation comes. Mm, I like that, man. Yeah, I didn't know that that was your situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know 300 was doing those kind of deals. Yeah, so. It took a little, it took a little, uh, it took a little time, a little learning, you feel me, to get shit right. But you know what I'm saying, uh, are you gonna try to put out another album out this year? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna put another project out this hey, year? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So that's a question. I mean, I don't know, man. Like one, oh, niggas do be driving. Like I dropped like one one project a year before. Damn. Yeah, I'm trying to drop more music, man. That's my whole point, man. That's my whole. You gotta run that up, man. Fam, I got. I, don't, I ain't gonna run out of words. You feel me? I feel like God bless me with the guilt to be able to put shit into words. You if you could do a whole joint album with someone, who would you? If you could like pick anybody to do a whole album with, who would it be? I don't know, man. I had to get around a nigga and see, like, you know what I'm saying. Nah, I'm just talking about from a fan's perspective. Like, oh, from a fan's like you're, perspective? You're a fan. Like, you're like, yo, man, I want to do it. Like, let's say, you know, if I was talking to you five years ago and someone said, yo, you could pick anybody in the game to do a whole project. Well, with. Hey, I'll do a, I do a collab project with Lil Baby or something right now. Lil Baby would be crazy. Yeah, I fuck with Lil Baby. Yeah, he's fire, Lil man. Baby. And then also, I, I respect Baby because, like, he's improved so much as a rapper. You feel me? 
Cause I remember, you know, four or five years ago, when he first came out, he he was shoot was cool, he was cool, he was going to the street. Him. But he's got so good, like yeah, it's crazy because you think wrong. back, like Gunna kind of taught him how to rap, and yo, he's out rapping a lot of motherfuckers Bro, these that days. Nigga man. going crazy. I don't know what the fuck in that nigga water, but he hard. Yeah, man, it's it's inspiring to see his his just his the way he's been he's been going that crazy nigga that hard. What's what's some music that's come out recently that you're fucking with, man? She recently I've been, been fucking with little uh, Taliban do the L. Hey, he was just here last night. Yeah, he yeah I've been studio. listening. To, I've been shout listening out to Tampa. To, I'm good. I've been fucking with Liberal album. Oh uh, shit, I've been riding the Broadway album. Broadway man, two ta- two two uh, Tampa Bay uh, artists right there, St. Pete and Tampa uh, right there. Yeah, more fucking. Uh, hold on, let me go to my shit. I don't want to lie. Yeah, man. Yo, you you know who? Uh, well, uh, did you listen to J Cole's album, or is that even an album that you would even press play on? I would, but I ain't I ain't got a chance to check it out yet. I'm okay, good. Okay. I, fuck with J. I don't Cole. know if I can picture you bumping J Cole in the whip. I might check it. I ain't gonna lie. I listen to a whole lot of shit that people won't expect me to listen to. Like what? Like, I be by myself though when I listen to a lot of shit. You feel me? Like, but what's the most random shit you be listening to? We wouldn't expect. This fool's gonna be like Adele 21. Oh, like some, like some Kings of Leon, you feel me? Kings of Leon? Yeah, you was somebody. That's my favorite Kings of Oh, Leon, yeah, you, hey, yeah. Feel me? That shit is a classic. That's some real I fuck fucking. With, I fuck with Adele too, though. That's some real, that like Kings of Leon, you walk into uh, any sort of Caucasian function. <laughs> That's what they, on oh God. Real talk. <laughs> Man, I put, see, I be getting so sad. You bro. somebody? I went to, it went to uh, it was motherfucking Instagram trip. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. Kings of Leon, uh, that's random. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you're real talking. If they, hey, yo, you know, it'd be kind of hard if you I fuck with passenger too. You know, the little white boy mm-hmm. passenger. You hard that nigga that raw. I right. feel like I feel like he the meat of that of that genre of that yeah. world. Yeah, because he got legs, boys and shit. I fuck with that nigga that. I respect it, man. Well, look, yo, your album is out. It, it's uh, been out for a while, but everyone should go check it out. And uh, I think, uh, man, I'm just happy to see you out. Man, you know, I think like I, I think that, you know, use all of these things that are coming up in your life, man, and and, and learn from them. And yeah, yeah. You, I'm so, I'm you know, at the end of the day, if we don't evolve, what do we what are we here for? Exactly. If we don't learn and we don't improve and we don't, you know, life happens to you for a reason. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? If you keep doing the same shit, you're gonna get the same results, man. I for sure feel like God uh, trying to show me something. Like, I for sure feel like God uh, trying to show me something. Like, you trying to tell me something, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Because I really ain't went on no bullshit, you feel me? Like, like I all honesty went on no bullshit, you feel me? Innocent man, you feel me? So I feel like God really put me in this position. Yeah. So hey, look, man, like, I think that use this as just a way to. Refocus your exactly. priorities exactly. Like yo man yeah. You know I think that Like another thing is like Yo like When you're in the studio Like man it's Be in the studio to work Fuck all the homies Fuck all Like you know what I'm saying Like Start really treating this shit Like a fucking Like this is your Nine to five exactly. You know what I mean Like be, You know what I mean But yeah Like I think you're gonna be alright man I, I, You know I'm, 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 I I would say I'm praying for you But I'm an atheist uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm hoping Damn why you don't believe uh, I just Just throw me Just throw me one little reason Or the I mean, listen, this is what I'll say. Because I don't want to dive down this deep. Dark. Yeah, because they're going to be like, oh my God, what the no, fuck? No, I mean, I would just say this. <laughs> would you consider yourself a religious person? Yeah, hey, I'm a religious person. I believe in Jesus. Christ. All right, so listen. So the Bible, all this shit. Is I all, feel like it was changed. I feel like this no, it, was no, no. You, it, don't say you feel like it was changed. Oh, no, it was changed multiple times. As as society evolved, all the real fucked up shit would get taken out of the Bible, and then they hit you with that new version. Like here's the King James version. This one is less offensive than the Old Testament because the Old Testament had a whole lot of fucking wild ass offensive ill shit in it. What I'm saying is, I think that I don't think all of these books that people live there. It's all man written. Yeah, shit, so, right. So. Men wrote these books. Mm-hmm. Religion in general is is pretty much the root of ninety nine percent of the, the, all the wars over the years. Think about it. Think about what's what's going on in in Palestine and, and Israel right now. Think about you could even go back to World War Two. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of this shit is all like like religion to me is like the black eye on society. 
Now, do I think that if somebody needs to believe in something and it gives them peace and they go to sleep at night because they, I, I'm not going to judge you personally for me. I just think it's all bullshit, but that's just me. I think it's just man-made. I think it's, it's, it's been used to control poor people. You don't believe it's a high power at all. So that I don't know. Okay. My whole thing is, I don't know, but I tell you who also don't know the motherfuckers that wrote all these books. I don't know. For so my <laughs> thing is, is that religion has been used to control poor people. Since its inception, yeah. Think about it, man. You motherfuckers give up ten, twenty. What's the best hustle to be in? Really, man. If I if I didn't have no morals, I would be a fucking preacher because I would be riding around, boy. All these motherfuckers <laughs> got the nice whips. Like, yo, man, we out here. Where's your tie at? Yo, throw that in there. These motherfuckers be in private jets and shit. Oh, good. Look. No, like if if you really like. I don't want to get into the conversation, but I would just say this. There is uh, a movie called Religious that Bill Maher made in like 2006 or some shit. I don't know. It's pretty old now. But that movie is the first movie that I watched. It kind of really, I, mind you, I've never been religious, but I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm untripping this whole time. A lot of this religious shit is wild, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Shout out to everybody <laughs> who's Christian. Shout out to everybody. You know, Jesus probably was a real cat. You know what I mean? But again, like, I know God be watching my ass, bro. You feel me? And and I'm not and I'm not saying that there isn't a higher power yeah, like, that I, we I, don't know about. Um, I just don't know. But I tell you one thing: don't let these motherfucking aliens everyone's been talking about lately. Obama just said the other day that, uh, that UFOs are real in an interview. Yeah. I so know. once we realize that there's aliens and other societies on other planets, it's gonna poke so many holes through all these fucking religions. It's gonna make all these motherfuckers' minds blow. This is all I would say, man. I ain't gonna lie to I Do you think in aliens? Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, aliens. I believe in aliens before I believe in fucking that 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 some motherfucker took two of every animal and put them on a fucking giant boat. How crazy is that? Shit sound like a fairy tale. Oh, cause it is. Anyway, O and B peasy. Appreciate you for pulling up. But so, brother, I had to praise I had Jesus to. Christ. But so that, but so that.